everyone out there in YouTube land. I'm the Sand Maven. Welcome back to my channel, Shopping and Sense. So, I have a haul to show you. It's from multiple different places. And I have some Mother's Day gift stuff in here. Now, I don't know if you guys enjoyed doing the deep cleansing breath with me. But I find that I feel stressed even at the end of the day. So, doing the, the deep breath helps me. I can do it off camera if it bothers people, but if it does help you, um, let me know, okay? So I'm gonna do it this this one more time and then you guys let me know. So we're gonna breathe in, in, in for four, hold for four, out for six. Okay, in for four. I don't know about you, but that makes me feel so much better at the end of the day. Okay, so what should I talk about first? Let's talk about Bath and Body Works first. So I uh, did an exchange. I had a hand cream that went bad. It was called Good Vibes. It was vanilla something and it turned brown. So I exchanged it for um, Rose. You know, I stopped buying these hand creams because... Um, I just don't like, I just don't like them. I don't like the cap. I don't like how it they, falls off. I keep it in a, I keep all my hand creams in a little like a basket and I keep it at my desk. So I'm hoping to just use them up. So I exchanged the, the one that went bad for um, this rose scented one. I think rose is like a big scent this year. Everything seems to be rose scented. So um, yeah, I got that. And then... Um, what else did I do? I exchanged, I wanted, I wanted Sunshine Mimosa, but I missed that 650 sale. But that's not the reason why I exchanged, why I went there for, for this. So I was looking through my, uh, well, I did want this, but I was looking through my Bath and Body Works collection, um, to change out my, uh, my creams that I'm using for the week, you know, so I get to use all of my creams. And I noticed that I had two of Hello Beautiful. And I don't know why I had two. I only needed one. I probably bought one, forgot that I had it, and bought another one. So, um, since I, it's a, I don't think it's, um, I was going to say it's a permanent scent. Since I don't think it's going to be retired anytime soon, and I have a lot of creams, I really didn't need a double of that. So I exchanged Hello Beautiful for Sunshine Mimosa, which I think is a really, really great scent. I know it's not a new scent. I know it's a repackaged scent. It's so nice for spring and summer. And it's a really nice change from the scents that I've been using. I've been using a lot of, um, we'll use some here. I've been using a lot of florals, a lot of candy scents, um, rose scents, so I haven't really been using anything that's um, that smells like this. Actually, I'm. You know what? Now that I smell it, it actually smelled better in the store. Not in the store. In the car, it smelled better in the car because they. You know, you can't smell the lotions in the store because they're like smell the tester. And now they are. They have body. Not body cream testers. Now they have lotion testers but we all know that even if it's the same scent it can smell different in the cream than it does in the lotion than it does in the shower gel they don't seem to get that so it doesn't smell as good now as it did then it's citrusy it's citrusy it's nice you know it's different um it's the scent that they want people to buy. What was the last scent that they wanted people to buy? I forget. I smelled that confetti daydream um, that they have out. So I already have it because it, it's a repackaged scent. So I have it in the old packaging. And I have the shower gel and I have the spray. I don't have the lotion. So I tried. I don't have the, the body cream, I should say. Because I was going to exchange a body cream. So I tried the lotion. I didn't like it. It does not smell 
I don't know if it's what the cream smells like because you can't you can't smell or test the cream. But the lotion, which you can test, I didn't like it. It does not smell like the the old confetti daydream, and it does does not smell like the shower gel and the spray. But I didn't I didn't smell the shower gel or the spray while I was there today because I was there to exchange a lotion, and I already have it. I already have Confetti Daydream and I have so many scents, so I didn't need more scents. So I'm going to be using uh, Sunshine Mimosa. Why does it smell different now? I don't know. I think it's, can a scent smell different at different times and different locations? I don't know. Anyway, so I got that and the rose and, uh, you know, kudos to them on the packaging because that's really, that says summer. If a packaging was going to say summer, that says summer. Now, what's the notes on this? Um, bright, bubbly champagne, fresh citrus. Somebody said it was like a muted champagne toast. No. It smells to me, I get the citrus. I don't really get the champagne. Maybe a little bit. I get the citrus. And I get, I get a little bit of a perfumey scent to it. I don't know. I gotta, I gotta work with it and let it sit and, you know, marinate and I'll, I'll get back to you guys on this. Yeah. So I got, that's what I got from Bath and Body Works. Then I went to Kohl's and we all know how I feel about Kohl's. So maybe Kohl's was trying to apologize because for some reason I got a $10 Kohl's cash coupon in an email just out of the blue i didn't uh did i spend 50 dollars there recently no i don't think i did no no i didn't i bought a couple of the minis of the hemp's minis well yes and then i bought two of those body sprays maybe it did come out to 50 dollars. who knows or maybe they felt bad about selling me used lotion. So anyway, they sent me a $10 Kohl's cash coupon in my email. So I'm like, okay, a free $10. So I'll go buy a couple of more Hems minis or something. But when I got to the store, they had these shirts by Sonoma for $9.99, but that's not $10. So I had to get another item. See, that's how they get you. They just want to get you in there to spend money. But anyway, so I got this in an extra large. You know how much I love the purple. I thought this was so pretty. It's just so random. It has new shirt smell. And it's soft. So my favorite color, purple. Love it. So I got that. I got to hang that up before it gets all wrinkled. Um... And then I picked up one of the hemp's that I didn't have. So I figured, and, and this is good to have in a mini because um, I don't know how I feel about this. I, I, I like it, but the, I don't like it enough to get a giant bottle of it. So I think I'm, I'm sufficient with the mini. This is sweet pineapple and honey melon. So I'm not a big pineapple person. Yeah, it definitely smells like pineapple. You don't really get... I guess you get some of the melon. Yeah. You do get some of the melon. I'm actually liking this more now. The more that I smell it, the more I like it. See, I'm having the reverse effect with this. I was like, I don't care for it too much, but I kind of like it. Now I really... It's... It's good. I'm really getting into the hemp's... Um, the hemp's line. The hems line. Should we should we do something for? I was gonna say, well, no, this is probably a terrible idea. I was gonna say, should we do something? What well, you know, there are a lot of cannabis uh and CB whatever oil related products. There's even another brand called Hemp Vana, who. I saw it in TJ Maxx. I wanted to pick it up. I don't know if they'll still have it. Maybe I'll go tomorrow and see if they have it because I want to return 
um, a, 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 uh, I have an Onyx, a Onyx bathhouse foaming body scrub that I don't like. I had bought two of them and I, two, and I, I opened one and I don't like it. So I want to return the other one. So maybe I'll get the Hemvana because I want to compare that to the Hems. So I was going to say, maybe we should do like a cannabis, uh, body product related, um, video for 420 because that's like the marijuana day holiday or you know day to smoke I don't know I don't smoke marijuana I don't I don't do any of that so I don't know but it might be a fun excuse to look at um you know the hemp and cannabis uh cb what do they call that oil cbd b oil or whatever um hemp seed oil let me know if, if you want me to do something on 420 related to hemp's and, and hemp fauna and something like that. I smell the mini that's got the CB whatever oil in it and it smells awful. Um, so I did not get that. My nose is running. Okay, fun stuff. Now, TJ Maxx. I love this. So when you're in TJ Maxx or Marshalls, and you see a seasonal product, like a Valentine's Day product or Christmas, and it's past the holiday, but it's not been marked down yet, you can bring it up to the counter and say, hey, this is seasonal. Is it clearance? And it, it always is because it's after the holiday. So they had a bunch of these soaps. They had ones, one with a floral cross on it that said... Um, I don't remember what it said. You got to go look at my um, Instagram. Please ignore my dog snoring. So, always in my videos. Malcolm, stop snoring. Ugh. Anyway, so they had a bunch of different Easter related ones. And this one, um, the cross one was really pretty, but it didn't smell as nice. I don't know. Is that sacrilege? sacrilege? <laughs> Do you ever see when Homer throws the the waffle on the ceiling and he and he thinks it's holy or something and he says mm, sacrilegious <laughs> anyway no it is it sacrilegious for me to say that the one with the cross on it didn't smell as good so easter bouquet i really how cute is this i don't care that it says easter bouquet it smells really really good and it was marked 5.99 and when, whenever you're watching this, it's it's way past Easter, right? So I bring it up to the counter and I tell the guy and he asked the manager and you know what he says to me? She said, no, it's not marked down yet because it's not that it's not enough time past Easter for it to be marked down. What? <laughs> the day after Easter is after Easter. What does it have to be like? It's already been uh, well over a week. Well over a week past Easter. But they haven't, they haven't clearance this. And they wanted to charge me full price. And it was, you know what? I almost paid. I was sitting there. I was not sitting there. I was standing there going, you know what? I don't know. And then the manager came back over and she stuck the price tag on it. So they marked it down to $3 instead of $5.99 because it's clearly seasonal. This is Mia and Co. It says, our scented hand soap is made with soothing aloe vera and provides a gentle cleanse. This... Look how beautiful. It's so pretty. And you could refill it. I know people people make fun of me for saying it's so pretty. I don't know. Then I got um this, which I don't know if I want to give this to my mom. Because this is dog mom on it, but I'm like the dog mom. My mom is the dog grandma. So I I don't know. She doesn't I already bought some notepads for her, and she doesn't like ones that are, are dark colored but this is not really dark but to her it is because she's her eyes but um she likes white paper i don't know that sounds racist <laughs> is it this, this this video is just so bizarre no forget that i'm just being goofy 
she doesn't like uh, <laughs> she doesn't like colored paper because it's hard for her to read her own handwriting because she writes in pencil and that's going to sound however it's going to sound so i think i'm keeping this for me then i picked up another philosophy i know I said I wasn't going to buy any more philosophy because it's too much money. Should I start this video over again? Have I messed it up severely? No. Anyway, so I picked up another philosophy. This one was slightly open so I could smell it. And um, it's amazing smelling. It, it, um, it's just, it's just amazing. This is passion fruit daiquiri i know it's like an unnatural color but this is not like a hair dye looking color like the squishy red fishy yeah it's like it's a coral color that's what color it is it's coral but it still looks kind of natural it looks like a daiquiri that squishy red fishy i guess it looks like melted swedish fish which is you know would be more of an unnatural thing than a daiquiri now it smells weird. It see why is everything not smelling as good now as it did before? Oh, I'm in my mouth. It smells good. They had a whole bunch of different philosophy there, but I I'm not getting any more for for ten ninety nine. I have enough. I have squishy red fishy. I have that grace uh, summer moments. Um. Pink Animal Cracker, and now Passion Fruit Daiquiri. Now, I plus all the other body wash that I have to use. So I think that's that's enough philosophy for right now. Uh, then I picked up this uh, Body Prescriptions. Um, that really, my New York accent came out there. Body Prescriptions. Uh, this is Collagen Face Cream. Let's see how, it's like this giant purple bottle who's drawn to it. This was $4.99. This says daily moisturizing cream that, um, the hair, daily moisturizing cream that softens and hydrates the skin of the neck, jaw, and face. Formulated to benefit all skin types. Use regularly, regularly, use regularly to soothe dryness restore health and promote a naturally bright complexion collagen face cream this doesn't really have a scent body prescriptions their stuff stuttering their stuff tends to be thick everything i'm saying in this video sounds terrible um yeah their lotions tend to be thick although now this one let's see No, this one is not as thick. Does it smell weird? I can't tell if it smells weird. It smells weird. I don't like it. I don't, that smells weird. Uh, you know, there was one that was uh, mint, rose, like rose, I want to say rosemary, no, rose, what's that spice? I don't know, I'm so tired. Rose something and mint, or maybe it was thyme and mint. Or, I don't think, that just smells weird. It smells weird. No, that has got like a rotten meat smell. No, I don't like that. Mm -mm. No. That's going to have to go back. Do I have... Yeah, I have the receipt for this. This is going back. I don't like it. Forget the big purple bottle. That just smells awful. It didn't smell as bad in the... Mm -mm, that 
that smells bad. It's so pretty. I know. <laughs> it's so pretty. Um, yeah, that's got to go back. Mm -mm. No. I don't like it. It's going back. I should have stuck with the, the mint one. Actually, now it doesn't have a smell. It doesn't have a smell. I have a whole bunch of other stuff to show you, and this video is very long. I don't know. It smells peculiar. And I get a, I'm going to be putting this on my face. Nah, it smells odd. It smells really odd. Nah. This body prescriptions company. I I don't know. Some it's like hit and miss with them. Nah. That's no good. That's going back. That's going back with the Onyx bathhouse. Mm -mm. Okay, now I needed some brushes. I needed some makeup brushes. I ordered a makeup palette from um, Ulta, but I'm not going to tell you which one. So I needed some new makeup brushes because mine suck um, because I got them from Dollar Tree and they're like, uh, what are they? They're like, not are they Elf or whatever? I don't know, but they're super cheap. Anyway, I was going to get the brushes from Ulta, but they're like expensive. A lot of them are expensive and I'm... Anyway, so I picked up these. It says I need it. I need it. Um, essential eye kit. And then it comes with a little uh, travel case. Five piece brush kit and travel case. So I, I that's sufficient. for That's a good. That's a good for what I need it for. I don't know. <laughs> I am I'm clearly tired. Um. Yeah, so I have this. I hope my fear now is like I could have picked. Why did I get the pink? They had other colors, but I got the pink. And now I'm concerned that like that metallic finish is going to wear off or chip. I don't know. These were $4.99. So like a dollar per brush and then this I, I don't know and then i needed a blush brush so i got this big ass brush here from isaac mizrahi isaac mizrahi new york is this like extra or what um i could have gotten a smaller brush but no i had to get the isaac mizrahi brush um have you guys seen him on home shopping network or qvc he looks terrible um, I mean, compared to when he, I guess everybody ages, but, uh, $4.99 for this big Isaac Mizrahi brush. I wonder how this is going to be. Then, uh, going on to stuff for Mother's Day, I got this it i didn't even look at what scent it was i smelled it but i didn't look at what scent it was this is egyptian cotton egyptian cotton foaming hand soap they only had two left and it says home is where mom is so um yeah my mom likes the foaming soaps yeah this smells this smells really really good the Egyptian cotton, so clean and fresh, linen scented, you know, li linen smelling. Home is where mom is. And this is, this was $4.99. So I could return that horrible body prescriptions and I could get another one of the home is where mom is. Soap. Give her two of them. If they still have that other one left. Maybe. Maybe I'll do that. Then I got this backpack. I had to have it. I don't know. This is the size bag that I should be carrying with me instead of my giant backpack with 
a whole bunch of stuff that I don't need. So when I go out on the weekends and stuff and I just need to carry my wallet and my hand sanitizer and maybe some lotion, I'm just going to take this little bag and leave my giant 50 pound backpack with all my work related stuff at home. And of course, can you guess who this is by? This adorable backpack with the, um, what is that? Rhinestone nose. It's a cat with no eyes. Can you guess who it's by? Yes, it's Betsy Johnson. I, I couldn't help myself. This is so adorable. So adorable. Mini backpack. This was $24.99. I almost, I, I picked it up and then I put it back down and then I was like, you know what? If I like it, um, if I decide to get it, I will pick it up on the way out. And I was like, nope, because you know what's going to happen? Just like when I found that I love uh, body butter in the mixed fruit scent and I put it down, some other woman picked it up and it went home with her. So I was like, nope, I put it in my... Uh, what is it? My bag here. And I said, if I decide I don't want it, I'll put it back then. Because I there was one left. One. And I knew it was going to be going home with somebody and it was going to be me. So $24.99 for this adorable Betsy Johnson handbag. Then I did get two. Okay, so I'm keeping the receipt because I wanted to get my mom a mug. I know, so typical Mother's Day. These are just like little extra gifts that I'm giving her. So they had two mugs. This is the mug that I wanted to get her because it's like, it looks like a, a tin cup, like a old style, like old country kitchen tin cup. But then I saw another mug and I was like, maybe this mug is too small. So I said, you know what? Let me get both of them. And let her decide which one she likes better. Or if she likes both of them, she can keep both of them. This one, I really like this one. It's so cute. It's like this Robin's Egg Blue. And it has the script on both sides. It says, Best Mama Ever. And this is by Ecolo World Traveler. And it was only $3.99, made in China. And do not microwave. Hmm. Got to make sure to tell her that. Do not microwave, hand wash only. Best mama ever. Why do you say do not microwave? I don't know. So, I thought that was really cute. But then I saw this, and this is a more traditional mug, and I don't know if she'd like this better. And this is larger, and maybe she wants to have a bigger cup of coffee in the morning. And this says, this is best mom ever. And it's like a, a pink inside. Hand wash only, do not microwave. They all say that. Okay. So this is by Dana Lee. I don't know. It says made in China gift mug. It says the same thing on both sides. Um, this was three ninety nine. So I, I mean, I like it. The like best mom ever. It's like, you know, um, more traditional, elegant looking. Uh, more I don't know, trendy, nice. And then this one is kind of like, you know, different. So I didn't know. I couldn't make a decision. And they only had one of each. I know that rustling of the paper is going to drive people crazy. You know what? I'll do that after. Yeah. So I'll do that after. Then the last two things that I got, I actually got two of each of these, but I already gave the extra ones to my mom because I was going to give them to her for Mother's Day, but I already got her a, a like a, a reusable, it's not, it's not like a burlap bag, but kind of. If you watch my previous videos, then you know what I'm talking about. Anyway, they had these reusable bags. So I picked up two, two sets and I gave a set to my mom and I'm keeping a set. Um, so this, 
at first I thought this was kind of ugly, but then I was like, you know what? This is really, really beautiful. And my mom didn't realize when she first looked at it that it's an elephant. It's really nice. It's really, really pretty. And these bags, they go fast in uh, Marshalls and TJ Maxx. So if you see one that you like for, it's a dollar, 99 cents. If you see one that you like, pick it up. Because I've been in the store where they look like they've had a thousand of them. Well, maybe not that much. And then the next day, empty. So if you like a bag, pick it up. You can always... Not that, I mean, for a dollar, would you really return it? But if you see something that you like in TJ Maxx, TJ Maxx or Marshalls, and you're not sure, pick it up, save the receipt. You have 30 days and you can return it. You can also return it without a receipt and get store credit, which is something I did today. I had a lotion that I had bought that was sealed. And then today I opened it for the first time. I had bought the body, the fragrance mist and the lotion. And the fragrance mist smelled good. So I assumed that the lotion was going to smell good. And so I didn't, you know, think about it. It was sealed. So I opened it for the first time today and it smelled sour. It was white. It was like, you know, it didn't look yellow or tinted or whatever, but... It, it definitely smelled sour and I don't know where the receipt was and they were perfectly fine giving me a credit and I got all this other stuff. So they had this one. I thought this was so pretty. It says, here comes the sun. It's really shiny. You can't appreciate this bag unless you see it in person because it's, it's so shiny. And yeah, it says TJ Maxx. So that is the haul. Now, you know there's going to be another haul because um, I have to return that horrible body prescriptions, face collagen, and that horrible foaming body scrub from Onyx Bathhouse. So stay tuned for more hauls in the future. In the meantime, in the meantime, in the meantime, yeehaw, in the meantime, and, uh... <laughs> In the meantime, remember to comment, rate, and subscribe. Follow me on Instagram um, at Shopping and Sense. That's what it is, Shopping and Sense. I will see you all in a future video. Goodbye, everyone out there in YouTube land.